Kane Kijima, known as the Konkatsu Killer, is Japanese fraudster and serial killer, convicted for poisoning three would-be husbands and suspected of four more, spanning from 2007 to 2009. She was given her nickname for her frequenting of Konkatsu marriage hunting websites, with her case also being called with similar names X. Konkatsu killings case, etc. On August 6, 2009, 41-year-old Yoshiyuki Oid, from Tokyo, was discovered dead in his car, parked at a parking lot in Fujimi, Saitama. The cause of death was determined to be carbon monoxide poisoning using a yontan, but the supposed suicide had several inconsistencies, because of this an investigation was launched by the Saitama Prefectural Police. As a result of the investigation, they arrived at the doorstep of 34-year-old unemployed woman Kane Kijima, who was dating Oid. It turned out that she had had several previous lovers, most of whom had died under questionable circumstances. The police determined that Kijima had been fraudulently posing as a bride, and on September 25, she was arrested for fraud. She had also received 4.5 million yen from a 40-year-old Chiba man, who was living with her at the time of the arrest. By January 2010, Kijima had been re-arrested for seven charges of fraud, while police simultaneously continued carefully investigating the suspicious deaths. On February 22, she was indicted for murder. It was for the murder of 53-year-old Takao Tarada Inome, as recounted by the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department. However, his death at the time was considered a suicide and was not given an autopsy, resulting in a very unusual murder charge, despite the lack of evidence for the cause of death. Sadao Fukuyama 70 In August 2007, Fukuyama's naked body was found at a bathroom in his Matsudo home. The cause of death couldn't be determined. The amount of money contributed amounted to 74 million yen. Takao Tarada 53 On January 30, 2009, the Ome-based salaryman was found dead in his home. The cause of death was determined to be carbon monoxide poisoning. Immediately before his death, a total of 17 million yen were transferred from his bank account to Kijima's deposit account. Kenzo Ando 80 On May 15, Ando from Noda died during a blaze that set his house on fire, burning it to the ground. Several yontan were placed near the body, suggesting the cause of death to be carbon monoxide poisoning. Ando's father was a renowned painter, and Kijima stole paintings from Kenzo's house so she could sell them at a high price. Immediately after his death, she withdrew 1.9 million yen from his bank account. Yoshiyuki Oid 41 On August 6, Oid, from Chiyoda, was found in a rental car parked in a parking lot in Fujimi. The cause of death was concluded to be carbon monoxide poisoning. Kijima received about 4.7 million yen, after pretending she was willing to marry Yoshiyuki. There were three other suspicious deaths. May 2004, unnamed journalist run over by a train. April 2009, Kazumi Yabe's body was found in a seabed, after having supposedly died in a fishing accident. October 2009, Hideki Maruyama 53, found lying face down in a stream in Chiba. Unnamed man in his 40s from September to December 2008, Kijima deceived this victim from a total of 1.3 million yen. Unnamed man in his 50s from October to December 2008, Kijima simultaneously deceived this victim of about 1.9 million yen. Unnamed man in his 40s on January 10, 2009, while sleeping in a hotel with Kijima, he had 50,000 yen stolen from his wallet. Unnamed man in his 50s in late July 2009, Kane attempted to deceive this victim of hundreds of thousands of yen. Unnamed 41-year-old on July 24, 2009, Kijima deceived him out of 400 million yen. Unnamed man in his late 50s in August 2009, Kijima attempted to deceive the victim out of about 1.4 million yen. Unnamed man in his late 30s from August to September 2009, Kijima attempted to deceive the man of about 700 million yen. Kijima was born and raised in Nakashibetsu, Hokkaido, graduating from Hokkaido Betsukai High School. She later dropped out of Toyo University's Faculty of Economics. 
Kejima, who was a skillful liar, said she lived in a luxury condominium in Nishi at the Bukuro, paying 200,000 yen every month and driving a rented Mercedes Benz. In addition, using the alias of Sakura Yoshikawa, she claimed that her father was a teacher at the University of Tokyo, while she herself was a piano instructor and food coordinator. The first criminal trial was filed in the Saitama District Court for a consolidated hearing on all cases of prosecution. The judicial procedures began on January 5, 2012, the first trial on January 10, judgment day on April 13, with the lay judge trial lasting 100 days. For the three murder cases, the prosecution provided the following evidence. Similarities in the murders. In all cases, the yontans and other items, purchased by Kijima beforehand, were found at the scene. Also, each victim was the last seen with Kane. Tirada's personal computer and keys were taken from his home. It is unlikely that Tirada purchased the 20 kilograms of yontan, he also had no car or bicycle, and had no record of renting a car. In addition, there is no record of a purchase on the internet. Kenzo Ando he had never taken sleeping pills before, but more than ten times the usual amount were found in his body. At the judicial autopsy, there was almost no charcoal powder in the throat, which is supposed to occur during a supposed poisoning from carbon monoxide. Yoshiyuki Oid There was no rental car key in the car at the murder site. It is unnatural to throw it away before committing suicide. The Yontan is believed to have been ignited by a match left near the car but there was no matchbox. It is unnatural to throw such item away before a suicide. Oid had no yontan residue left on his hands, and no gloves were located. The prosecution said in a statement, the night sky is spreading out of the window. When the night breaks, it becomes snow-covered. Even if you don't see when the snow has fallen, you can find that it has fallen in the middle of the night. Using metaphors, the emphasis on accumulation of circumstantial evidence was sufficient enough to prove Kijima's guilt. On the other hand, Kane and her defense team claimed that the bribes were voluntarily handed over to her, and their deaths were either accidental or suicide, which warranted an acquittal. The Saitama District Court, with presiding judge Kazuyuki Okuma, acknowledged the prosecutor's accusations, sentencing Kane Kijima to death. She was the first female defendant to be given such a sentence in a lay judge trial. She appealed on the very same day. Kijima married in prison after the appellate court's decision and had her last name changed in 2016. The Supreme Court, headed by Judge Yoshinobu Onuki, decided to have the first opening session on February 10, 2017. On said date, the defense court argued that the men may have committed suicide at an oral hearing. This was not supported by any facts, and the prosecutor dismantled, contributing to the dismissal of the appeal. On February 22, the judgment date was set for April 14. On April 14, 2017, the Supreme Court Judge Yoshinobu Onuki said, the killings are intentional and extremely malicious. The defendant has irrational excuses and shows no remorse. Thus, the death penalty is unavoidable. With this, her death sentence was officially confirmed. On May 9, the Supreme Court dismissed allegations of prejudice against Kijima. She is the 15th woman to be condemned to death in the post-war period, and the first to be convicted by a lay judge. Since 2019, Kane Kijima is incarcerated on the Tokyo Detention House's death row.